Hi, it's Julian Bark here. I'm with Kathy, who's just been telling me she's got a bit of a stiff right shoulder and a stiff knee, probably down to Zumba, because you're a bit of a Zumba queen, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, so I'll run through uh, and we'll check those now. So good, up you jump. Little observation I've noticed, if people tell you they've got a bad knee, when they climb off on the couch, they will always put the bad knee up first. Um, and you can almost, so if you forget which knee they said earlier on, and just watch which one they put up first, and you'll be right almost always. Um, it's because they feel more stable on that, that knee. So. Okay. So, Kathy gets uh, adjusted reasonably regularly, and, uh, or very regularly actually, so you shouldn't really find too much of an issue. So, I'll, I'll run through the, uh, all the major junctions, and then we'll focus on knee and shoulder. So, um, Okay, so a little bit on the left PD, um, if you're getting nothing on the knee, sometimes you can just go to stress the uh, sacrum straight inferior and that one will often come up, yeah, to an anterior sacrum base. So PSIS across to S2, down to S1. Anterior superior line of drive, often a bit tender, eh? Not too bad? No? Right. You didn't scream, so it's good. Uh, left hand up behind your back. Swap your hands. Both hands up behind your back together. Both back down by sides. Lift the left hip up off the couch and back down. Same on the right, back down. And take your left hand up by your face. Big deep breath in. And out. Right hand up as well. And both back down by sides. Let's get turn your head to the left. Lift the left shoulder up off the couch and back down. Shrug both shoulders up to your ears and back down. Squeeze the left elbow flat against your side and there we go. Squeeze the right one in, and there go. So hopefully you saw that change there. Basically nothing going on there until I get to the shoulders and a very clear right medial left lateral scapula. Shrug your shoulders up and roll them back. Head back into the centre. Um, so, start with the right medial scapula. Right. A very familiar pattern, right medial, left lateral scapula, um, tends to be the uh, right handers and the other way around is the left handers. And if it's coming up in the right handers, they usually got a story of woe or injury to talk about. Good news it isn't. Probably the important point is um, don't just go for the right shoulder, you know, check if that's what the protocol is there for. And shoulders don't function in isolation. I take it, Kathy, you dance using both arms. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Um, so lift up your head and back down. Tuck your chin down to your chest, back to centre. Good. Push your face into the couch and let go. And a very clear seat one. So, slight tuck of chin down to your chest, down to a uh, setting one here. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Just not for us over. Or smashing the place up here. Okay. Mastoid process, angle of jaw in between will be atlas, just find the lateral border. Make the contact straight, lateral thrust, and back to centre. So I like to recheck, tuck your chin down to your chest, back to centre. One, you know if you've got it, two, if it does throw up a C2, you can check as well. Good, but that seems to be it. So push your face into the couch and let go. Stretch left hand to the left knee and let go. Right hand, right knee, and there we go. There we go. Okay, 
So let's have a let's work from the bottom up. Let's have a look at the uh, knee. And uh, okay, if there's anything that tends to happen with slight knee problems is they will go anterior. I think it's probably the thing I find more than anything else. So once the anterior border of the tibia and effectively the adjustment is straight posterior to posterior, but with the uh, the knee bent. We can check the shears. Uh, there is actually an anterior uh, medial and lateral meniscus test, which is effectively just stress testing through that joint, but no, that's all good. Maybe the head. Worth checking kneecap as well. They can go either inferior or lateral most of the time. Okay, so let's move up onto the shoulder. So, um, palm of right hand up onto the back of your neck. And lift that right elbow off the couch and back down. Push the right elbow down into the couch and let go. Palm back down by side. So I use that little sequence a lot because it will usually flush something up, especially if there's a, you know, an obvious thing going on the shoulder. Nothing, to be honest, so good start, um, which is good news. So let's run through the rotator cuff and muscle tests. Um, let's take your right hand up behind your back, reaching for your left shoulder. That's the one. Supraspinatus, that's good. Arm back down by the side. Drop the arm off the side. Push with your hand towards your feet. And let go. So that is um, subscap. Yeah, if you've been um, voluntarily flinging your arms around or doing it as part of the sport, so swimmers as well, it tends to come up a lot. So this is uh, underneath your shoulder blade, and uh, always nice to ask for your poking in somebody's armpit. Um, and um, that was me asking. And there's a very obviously tight bit there. Got my finger on it, yeah? Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, and uh, yeah, big twitch response, and Kathy knew that one happened, so good. Um, good, I'm back to neutral again. Worth checking um, rhomboids as well. So, right hand behind your back, and then just push outwards with the elbow. And let go. Rhomboids tend to want to tighten up to stabilize any shoulder irritation, okay? we do this one, and then we just check. Um, internal and external rotation of the humeral head and uh, let's make sure there's nothing going on there somebody who's personally familiar with those kind of injuries um so uh, right hand just turn it so palm uh, face down but keep the elbow straight that's the one. Oh, there you go right, okay and back round so that is effectively an internal, sorry, an, an external rotation of the human head here, rotating it out, um, and that causes the change. So, and back round. Good. So just lift the uh, right arm straight up off the couch, back down. Checking the AI humeral head. Okay, good. Let's see how we get on with that. Clearly, some findings, and uh, good. I shall see you next time.